going out there, isn't it? Oh, can you hear it? It's pretty bad today. Oh. Where does the wind come from? Come anyway? Come from? Uh, what do you mean, come from? Well, I mean, you can see it mm -hmm. when it blows things around. Yeah. You can feel it when you're outside. Yeah. You can hear it, uh -huh. especially when it's blowing really hard like it is today. Mm -hmm. But where does the wind come from? Huh. Uh, I've never really thought about that. Uh, but I'm pretty certain that no one but God knows the answer to that question. That's probably true. But that's not our question for today. You're right. Mm -hmm. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. Mm -hmm. You're right. I got distracted. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> but this does connect with our question for today, believe it or not. It does. The question today is from Lila. What does it mean to have eternal life? That's a good one. Uh, that's a really good one. It is. Mm -hmm. But before we get to the answer, which is a Bible account, mm -hmm. Mike, can you tell everyone what eternal life is? Is. I can, I can. Eternal life is being with God always and living with Him forever. Huh. Okay. Now here's an account mm -hmm. of a man who asked Jesus questions and how Jesus answered him. A visit at night. Once there was a man called Nicodemus. He was a Jewish religious leader during the time of Jesus. One night, he visited Jesus because he had questions that he wished to ask him. Rabbi, he said, We know that God has sent you because of all the miracles you have done. Nicodemus could tell that Jesus was a man of God and a good teacher, but that was all. And because Jesus knew everything that was inside every man, he knew that. Jesus then said something that confused Nicodemus. He said, I tell you the truth, unless you are born again, you can't see the kingdom of God. What do you mean? Nicodemus replied. How can an old man be born a second time? You see, Nicodemus thought Jesus was talking about actually going back and being physically born. Jesus said, I assure you, no one can enter the kingdom of God unless they are born of water and the Spirit. Humans can only produce human life, but the Holy Spirit gives birth to spiritual life. Don't be surprised when I say you must be born again. Just like you can hear the wind and you don't know where it comes from or where it's going, so you can't explain how people are born of the Spirit. Nicodemus was still confused. How can this be? He asked Jesus. Jesus looked at him a moment and said, You're a respected Jewish teacher and yet you don't understand? If you don't understand me when I tell you earthly, physical things, how are you going to understand me when I tell you heavenly, spiritual things? This is how God loves the world. Jesus continued. He sent his one and only Son so that everyone who believes in him will not die but have eternal life. God didn't send his son into the world to judge or condemn the world, but so that the world could be saved. Nicodemus was a respected teacher in Israel. He had been studying the scriptures for a long time. He was part of the ruling body of the land, and even he didn't understand that Jesus is God's son. He thought being good Holding on to God's laws and doing the right things would be enough for us to live with God. Jesus told him that God loved the world so much mm -hmm. that he had his son, Jesus, mm -hmm. come to the world so that everyone who believes in him could live with God forever. Mm -hmm. To have eternal life, to always be with God, you have to believe that Jesus is God's son and that God raised him from the dead. See, 
no one can be good enough on their own. Mm -mm. No. And no one can do anything that will make God love you. He already does. That's why he sent Jesus. Mm -hmm. God knew we couldn't do it on our own. The Bible doesn't say that you have to say any special things. Just say what you feel. Remember that Jesus loves you mm -hmm. and God wants to have a relationship with you. Mm -hmm. So think about what you say to someone who loves you when you've done something wrong. Mm -hmm. You say, I'm sorry, I won't do it again. That is always a good place to start. Mm, very good place to start. We hope this answers uh, Lila's question and everyone who is uh, tuning in. We will be back with more answers to your questions later. And remember, want to know? Ask God. Bye, everyone. Bye.